Hello and today I'm going to show you how to transform Windows 10 to look like Windows 11. And before you start to install any custom theme on Windows, you need to know that you need to patch your system. And how to do that, you need to install Ultra UX Theme Patcher, All New Explorer and Start is Back. And to do that, you can watch my tutorial, the link will be in the description below of this video, how to patch Windows 10 for custom themes. I have made this tutorial on version 2004, but it will work on the latest version of the Windows as well. So please watch this tutorial, how to patch Windows 10 for custom themes. And then after you do that, uh, go back to this video and let's download these files. So first, download this theme. This is Windows 11 for Windows 10. We have Windows 11 icon pack and you need to download this app 70SP. So when you download all of these files, put them on desktop like me. And before I start to make difference and to change Windows default system files, I need to create restore point. To do that, in start menu, type create and then choose create a restore point. Here select local disk C, click create and give it a name. I'm gonna name it team. Click create and now the restore point is creating. Okay, it's done. I will close this. I'm gonna click OK here and now maybe you're wondering Hold on, you have Windows 10 wallpaper on the desktop, but your start menu is Windows 7, but it's not. This is start is back. And if I type about, and if I open about your PC here, you can see that my Windows edition is Windows 10 Pro and the version is 20H2. So yeah, I have the Windows 10. Don't worry. This is only start is back. Uh, design because I still love and I still like the Windows 7 start menu. Anyway, uh, let's go back to install icon pack and the team. So first I'm gonna install the icon pack and I'm gonna extract this to the folder and of course I'm gonna extract the 70SP app. Okay, now uh, first go to Windows 11 icons. Now here what you have, you have Windows icons and you have also icons in PNG format so you can play around and now uh, be careful because if you have Windows 10 version 1809 and lower you need to use IPEC and how to use IPEC uh, right click rename remove this hit the enter yes and run this I'm not gonna use IPEC I'm just only showing you what to do click here i accept go next patch all files and then go next and ipec builder will ask you do you want to create restore point so click no because you have already created restore point and for me in my case ipec builder is taking too much time uh, creating restore point so just keep creating restore point and install the icon pack using ipec I'm gonna click cancel. I will go back here. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna use 70SP. So here in this folder, uh, we have 70SP Windows default icons, old version. We have Windows 10 new icons, default version as well. And all of these are Windows 11. Let's call it Windows 11 icon. Uh, we have blue, green, purple, slate, yellow. I'm going to choose blue. Rename, remove this. Hit the enter. Click yes. And I'm not going to extract these. I will close window and I will open 70SP. And now here again, rename and remove this. Actually, just rename it to the exe. Okay, run as administrator. Okay, now 
uh, what you need to do go to the add a custom pack and then go to the your location of the icon pack I just renamed so here you see uh, Windows 10 new folder blue okay and then click open I'm not gonna click open because I have already selected this icon pack I'm gonna click cancel uh, then go to the uh, extra options and then uncheck the box which says create new restore point when patching and then just click save now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click start patching and I'm gonna click yes and now the patching is started and I will be back after the patching is done okay the patching is done and now what you need to do what is important to do is to restart your computer immediately so do not click no click yes and I will be back one more time I am back and after restarting my PC you should get this message the system has been patched so the icon packs are installed on my Windows I'm gonna click OK and now here uh, you can see that I have yellow folders uh, these folders are changed so if I open local disk C uh, you, you can see some folders are blue and some are still yellow default now what you need to do uh, here in the folder you have enable or disable folder thumbnails you can do that by registry key but I'm gonna go to the control panel and here view by large icons go to the file explorer option view tab and check this box always show icons never thumbnails click OK you should get all folders to be blue okay that's it uh, now you can see here I have completely new icons on my Windows 10 it's not much big difference because um, it's classic Windows default uh, icons but they are a little bit changed so I like it I choose the blue because it's gonna fit to the theme okay now uh, the last step to do is to install the theme extra the files from the WinRAR to the folder uh, we have some skins here we have start orbs and here we have Windows 10 themes uh, select all of them copy local disk C mm, Windows resources themes and just right click and paste it uh, I'm not gonna do that because I have all, all of them Windows 11 dark and like you see I have already tested the theme and the icons so right click personalize themes and here scroll down and now we have a different styles we have dark and light and we have uh, with address bar and without address bar but I'm gonna choose Windows 11 light okay here we go I'm gonna delete these folders okay we have selected the team like you see here's the team and now uh, the big question how to edit the start menu and the taskbar so to do that uh, I have already say uh, you need to have start is back and here uh, you can apply this style but I'm not I'm not gonna use this style because really I don't like it uh, I'm gonna select this style here apply and what I will get I will get this uh, you may not get this uh, because I have tweak this start menu and taskbar a little bit and here customers appearance check this box and check this box to use custom start menu coloring and here in the option I have choose blur choose blur and then set the transparency about 
10% apply and you should get the same start menu and the taskbar uh, like me but you can play around you can display all programs fly out menu like windows xp style you can hide user account picture you can do whatever you ever you like with this uh, start is back configuration and that's it now uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete this okay and i'm gonna do a quick preview of all of the styles so black and white and what i'm gonna do for the last step i will go to the local disk d the windows 10 teams here I have this little app system transparency okay I will set this app on my desktop and I'm gonna run it okay and now here right click setup and info and set transparency level to 220 maybe and I'm gonna check this box effect all explorer windows I'm gonna click ok now what I will get I will get this glass effect uh, it's a little bit too much I'm gonna go back to the app and I'm gonna lower 210 click OK okay no I'm not satisfied I'm gonna go back okay this number okay now that's it uh, it's not too much I can see the desktop background and here uh, when you select the team you right click and you have the option to change the wallpaper go next desktop background and you can see it's really cool and really amazing okay enjoying the rest of the video and leave a comment what you think about this tutorial and see you next time bye